Richard, sorry, your desk is bigger than mine, so I... Of course I... it's bigger than yours, Earl. Where is everybody? Gone. Who? Everyone. Karen? Karen. The guy who represents the warehouse? Yeah, he took all those guys. Bradley? Yes. They actually took Bradley. And your jet skis, I think. What? No, no! Oh, no, 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 no! Where's Miranda? Oh, no, no, no. I never even got to ride them. Not even once? No, never. Dad said that. I couldn't handle it. Ouch. Well, I mean... At least you're sticking by me, you know? Right, Earl? You're not leaving me, are you? I, 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 I haven't decided yet. It... some shady business going on around here, and I don't like it. Well, it's not that I want to leave. It's just th that you're in love with Karen. How did you know? Everybody knows, Earl. It's more than love. She's my everything. You know, you could have been number two to all of this. Uh, well. Mm -hmm. uh, you missed it, buddy. Uh, You've made your choice, Earl. So just go. Go, go, go. What are you going to do? I don't know. My empire is crumbling, so. And you know, I'm a miserable failure. And my father was right about me, and I've hit rock bottom! But, but you know what? You know what, Earl? I have no idea where I went wrong. Do you really want to know? Yeah. Well, first you fired Tom and Henry for something you made them do. You told Karen she was going to Florida, then you took your secretary instead. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to Bradley... Well, I, I thought that I was establishing dominance and instilling competition in the workforce. I, what was I supposed to do? Tell everybody the truth? That I'm not my dad? That I... I'm absolutely terrified, and that I have no idea what I'm doing. How can you just say that to your employees, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm just like you, Earl. You know, I live on bread. Mm -hmm. I try too hard. I make mistakes. I have no friends. I, I, I have friends. You know, we're just the same. We, we can't be trusted to make decisions because we're just too stupid. Right. What now? Hire new employees? Well, you, you saw what happened when I hired Bradley, so that's clearly not an option. Well, then I don't know what to tell you. <sighs> you know, you know, I just wish that so. Are you crying? No. No? I don't know. Would you, would you, uh, stay at Umbrella Cove if I did? I can't. Well... <laughs> well, I was going to say, if you want to sell it, you can talk to Henry. He'd probably keep the same name, and your father's legacy would live on. 
I'll think about it. Well, if you want to sell it, they're throwing a company party next Friday. Are you going? I think so. They're cooking out. What are they making? I don't know. Hot dogs, I think. Damn, I love hot dogs. Me too. Could I ride with you? Yeah, no problem. What are you gonna wear? I don't know, probably uh, something like this. Should I bring like chips or something? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Okay. Just give me a call later this week. I'm so screwed. Well, welcome to our first ever Sword Co. party. Sword Co. Best swords this side of the Rocky Mountains. We're still working on that slogan. Now, we want you to have a good time, but there is one rule. Nobody can go in the house. Nope. This is Randy's house. He does not know we're here, and I do not have a key. But feel free to eat and drink as much as you want. I think Bradley's about to throw on those hot dogs. Yep, oh, boss. Here they go. Karen. So, Tom, where is our office going to be at? I don't know. We haven't really done much yet. We stopped thinking about it after we convinced everyone to join. Everyone except Earl. Uh, no. Earl works for us. He's over there. What? What is he doing here? I, I thought he was going to stay with Richard. Evidently, he changed his mind. But why? Are you serious? What do you mean? He came to us because he wanted to be near you. <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, yes. He loves you. Literally everyone at this party knows it. Except for you. And you are way more of an idiot than I thought you were. Earl, Tom just told just me... Just a second, Karen. It's about to get awkward. I know. I don't even know where to start. I mean, we've been friends for so long. Wait. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hot dogs!